Hey guys, Demetrius here. Welcome back to my channel where I show you how to build digital solutions and automate your workflows. Now today's video is going to be the third part of the video series where I show you how to create a restaurant app from scratch, right? So in the two previous videos, we looked at um, how to create a, a menu right here. So we created this menu with all the categories, you know, uh, we also set up our reservations page in the last video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an about us page as well as a promotions page, right? A, a page with like uh, coupon codes and stuff like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new tab, right? So uh, this tab is going to be called about us. And this time I'm actually not going to select the source, right? I don't want to get any data from the spreadsheet. I'm actually going to manually create the data because on an about us page, you don't unless you're going to be changing your about us page very often, you don't really need to get data. You don't really want, you don't really need to have the data stored on a spreadsheet, right? The data you have on a spreadsheet is usually um, data that you want to change, you know, dynamically change on your app. So what we can do is just select a random source, go to layout. I'm then going to select the details styling option. So it gives me a completely um, clean page. I'm actually going to delete these components it added here, right? So a completely clean page that I can add components to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to add new component and I'm going to select the text component. And here, as you can see on the data section, we're able to select a data field from the spreadsheet. However, if I click on this, as you can see, we also get an option to enter some custom text. And what this means is that I can manually enter the text that I want to have on this page without having to pull it from a section in the spreadsheet, right? So again, this is not a page that I, I would personally change very often, you know, so you just write it once, you know, you write your story, you write your uh, whatever you want to say on your about us page. And that's it. You know, you don't, you're not really going to change it again. Uh, and even if you need to change it in the future, you can just change it through this dashboard, right? So this just saves us a little bit of hassle. You know, we don't have to create a new spreadsheet in, your, in order to store that data. So um, I can just write, let me just get some random text here. There we go. So this can be our little story. Uh, and this component also has some like um, alignment options, right? So we can choose justify, for example. Uh, you also get some like um, styling options, right? I'm just going to go with regular. Um, oh, that's cool. You know, so you can truncate text lines so you can uh, select how many lines you want to appear, you know, if you have a lot of uh, data on the on the page, you know, you can truncate some of the lines, and so on. And then I mean, you can, um, we can add another text component, which can be the, the heading. So our story, for example, and I can make this all caps. Uh, and let me see if I can actually add some markdown here. No, but actually I don't need to because I can select the style, right? Yeah, so I can make this, I can make this head it, heading two. And now I need to move this above right there. And actually, I don't like the all cups. Let's just do it. Mm. I'm not sure. Okay, let's just go with that. doesn't matter. Uh, and then you can have an image. Okay, now let's see. So image. Yeah, we can even select the custom URL, right? So again, we don't need to store the, the image data in the spreadsheet, we can just select a custom URL. So we can just go on Google and search for like, um, restaurant picture. Or let's just go on unsplash. Unsplash. Really good website for like copyright free images. So restaurant. There we go. So we can just select this one, open image, a new tab, copy the link, and we can just paste it right there. There we go. We can also have a different ratio. I think I like that more. Uh, okay, style it to edge, insert with content. Okay, so we can do it like that. I think I like this more. 
uh, and then we can also have some overlays on the image and so on and then you can have um, I can duplicate this text element and have some more text right there you know so if your story if you want to continue the story after the image and so on and you get the idea you know you just create your about us page like this um, and again you can choose whether you want to store this data in a spreadsheet you know so you can easily update it through the spreadsheet uh, but in my case I, I choose to just write some choose the uh, custom text option instead you know I think that's that's better for this case so now we're gonna go back to tabs and I'm actually gonna change the icon here so let's make it like let's see what we have here story no uh, content hmm um, let's just go with this all right and then let's go ahead and create our promotions page now this is going to be a little bit more interesting so new tab I'm gonna name it promotions right or you can name it coupon codes or whatever uh, or deals you know uh, let me search for deal no promotion money yeah we can go with that perfect uh, and then now we need to actually create a new sheet because this data is usually going to change you know your 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 promotion codes are going to change from time to time so promotions there we go we have a new sheet and now we need to specify our field names so let me think um, maybe we can have a name for the uh, for the deal you know uh, we can have a description describe what you get on the deal and so on um, I'm also gonna show you another uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm also gonna show you how to add a link like a button with a link so for example if you have your if you have like a, um, uh, a place where you store your coupon codes you know or you have like an external system or maybe a website where you have your coupon codes you know um, you can have like an external link to that page you know uh, it might not be necessarily that like sometimes you might want to have the coupon code on the page directly but some uh, I know some uh, businesses like to have like a verification process before they give the coupon code so maybe you have like a landing page where you collect an email before giving them a coupon code so I'm gonna show you how to add a link to a landing page for example where you can um, ask for their email before giving them the coupon code right so uh, that can be a useful feature and then we can have the um, the price you know so uh, the price of this deal or whatever um, we can have the expiry date and then we can also have terms and conditions right there we go uh, okay so now we can uh, just add some I found a picture here oh yeah that's another thing image right so it's good to have an image so I'm gonna put that there and I found a picture where is it uh, here of like a like a pizza get one get one free sort of deal so I'm just gonna paste the link of that image right here let me move this to the end so we don't have the link in the way of everything else and then we can call this deal um, buy one get one free or something and I would assume that this is like an imaginary pizza restaurant uh, description uh, our special Uh, special deal where you can get uh, I don't know uh, I'm not really good at copywriting a uh, special deal where you can get you can buy one pizza and get one free and then the link I'm just gonna put HTTPS www.google.com as an example and then the price 
you know, we can have something like, um, like 20 maybe. Expiry date, I'm just gonna put uh, 28th of May. In terms and condition, this deal is only valid on Tuesdays, right? So now let's go back to our app, let's refresh. So we pull in the new data and now we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click on my promotions tab right here and I'm gonna change the source to promotions. Perfect. As you can see, we get our deal right there. So now I'm gonna go back to layout and let's style this a little bit. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, tiles once again because we get the nice image. And I'm actually gonna make this uh, three to two ratio. I think that, that, that looks good. Um, and okay, so now let's see. So title is the name. Okay, description, I think that's a little bit long. So once again, with the, the tile option, you're able to click on it and then we can have more information about the deal, right? So on the preview here, I think for the details, I'm gonna have the, um, we can have the price maybe. Um, and then when we click on it, this is where we can customize the uh, the more more information, right? So uh, let's see. So we get by default we get a title component right here. Uh, we get a so on the title component we have the name of the deal, and then we have a small a short descri the, the, the the description right. And if your description is really long, you can just make this empty, and create a new text element below this so I can create a new text element and just make this the description, right? So if the description is really long, you can just have it as a text element. But in this case, it's actually pretty short, so I'm just gonna leave it on the details section of this title element, right? So right there. Um, and then let me delete this link. I'm gonna come back to that in a second. We can have the price, the expiry date, the terms and conditions, uh, this I'm gonna remove. And then I'm just gonna add a, um, a button element, right? So this is like a link. Uh, and I'm gonna name this uh, get coupon code, right? So I mean, if you have the coupon code and you wanna give it to them on this page, then you can just go ahead and have a field here on your spreadsheet and call it coupon code and then have a text element on this page and assign it to the coupon code field, right? So that's gonna give it to them on the page. But if you wanna redirect them to another website or whatever where they can redeem the, the, the offer, maybe you have the offer on Groupon, you know? So um, if you wanna use that, then you would, you would need to have a link to that, to that landing page, right? So you go to features, and then you select as an action to open a link. So a button element, a button component can have different actions, as you can see right here. So the open link action, as the phrase suggests, is gonna open a link, and the target is gonna be the link field on our spreadsheet. So whatever link you have here, when they click on the button, they're gonna be redirected to that page. So if I click on this, it should open up Google. There we go. Right, so I hope you get the idea. And then of course we can go ahead and add more, you know, we can add more deals. So yeah guys, there we have it. We now, um, our app now has a promotions page and about us page, reservations and a menu page, right? So we're good to go, right? This is um, a complete restaurant app. You know, there's obviously more features that we can add to it. And let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions, anything you wanna see, if you want me to extend this series, um, let me know in the comments below. But now I'm actually gonna show you how to share this app, you know? So if you have a client, a restaurant client, or if you have an actual restaurant, all you gotta do is just go to share, publish app, and this is gonna create a link for you, right? And you can edit the subdomain here so I can make it a uh, restaurant app. I don't think that's gonna be available. 
Oh, seems that it is. That's cool. Okay, so let's open it in a new page, in a new tab. Oh, okay, so what I need to do is go to settings, sign in and select public, right? So you want it, you want it to be publicly accessible. Um, so now let's try again. No, uh, why? Share, copy, oh, there we go. So it just refreshed, there we go. So now all you gotta do in order to share this with your customers, you know, you can attach this to your social media, you know, you can add it to your Instagram uh, bio, for example, that's a great place to add these kind of apps because currently uh, Glide apps are mostly, uh, they're meant for like mobile devices, you know, so um, a great place to add this link is on your Instagram uh, bio, you know, because uh, then your customers are going to be on their phone, searching through your uh, Instagram account, browsing browsing through your Instagram account, and then they're going to see the link. You know, it's a very easy way to get them on the app. You know, and it's also a great way. You know, if you want to uh, promote your app. So um, now another thing, Glide has is a this is a new feature. So they now allow you to actually have a where is it? A, a desktop mode, right? So if I click on this, I should be able to have a desktop a desktop mode of this app. And I think it takes a little bit of time to um, to refresh. Yeah, it might take Oh, there we go. So show full screen. So there we go. We also have a desktop version of the app. So that's also really cool. You know, so your customer, you can also attach this to your to your website or uh, your customers will also be able to see this nicely on their desktop, not just their uh, not, not just their mobile device. So this is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this series. Please let me know in the comments below what other apps you would like to see me create. Your suggestions are always very, very useful. And also, if you haven't already, um, join my community, my free community to network with myself as well as other like-minded individuals who are building apps and digital solutions. And also make sure to check out my app development mastery course if you want to learn how to build powerful apps without writing any code. All links are going to be in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I release new videos and I will see you on the next one.